Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. Early on this Tuesday morning, a couple of showers remain north of the Tri-Cities this morning right in here. Futurecast is actually doing a pretty good job of depicting this. Now we're still in the warm sector, a very mild start with mostly clear to partly, well, mostly clear to mostly cloudy skies. The clear skies are right in here this morning. Cold front still off to the west. It's gonna be slowly pushing eastward. Now, while we won't see much rain initially this morning, we could see a few more spotty showers and isolated thunderstorms pop up later this morning. So here's noon, a few more showers and thunderstorms possible. But as the cold front approaches, watch what happens in the afternoon. Now, first off, one thing I will mention is that is if we get more sun this morning, that will really help to destabilize the atmosphere. We've got plenty of low level moisture out there with dew points in the 60s. We will be looking at the uh, stage set basically for a good chance of some severe storms. Watch how things really get going this afternoon. Anytime afternoon, one o'clock here, we're gonna start to see that chance of severe weather. Thunderstorms blowing up across the area, pretty numerous, numerous showers, thunderstorms. Big hail is gonna be one of your biggest threats with these initial storms and some severe wind gusts. There may be a little more low level shear later this afternoon, and that could help provide for at least the chance of a few isolated tornadoes uh, during the mid to late afternoon. But as this line of storms becomes more linear here, it then becomes more of a damaging wind gust threat as these push out of central and into eastern Nebraska. Uh, one thing, I'll back it up real quick here. Look at also the winds strong out of the south today, out ahead of this cold front. We're going to see more gusty winds gusting up around 35, 40 miles per hour. Strongest winds will likely be in eastern Nebraska, more of a westerly wind behind the front. So again, the storm's still possibly some severe weather into the early evening, but by the mid-evening, a lot of these are starting to clear out and weaken. So most of us are done with the severe weather at this point. The, they'll move on out. They should be out of the entire area by midnight. And then the cold front finishes sweeping through the rest of the area after midnight tonight. Sky's clear to partly cloudy, cooler temperatures on the way Wednesday morning. A cooler, a mild day out there. Not a bad day for your Wednesday. Not as much wind, a slightly breezy northwest wind, a few clouds around, especially to the southeast. Wednesday evening looks quiet and cool again, but as we get towards Thursday morning, another cold front approaches and then passes through. Now, initially, it won't be much colder behind this front, but the winds will start to pick back up out of the north and northwest. We'll still see some cooler air in place, but we'll really feel the chilly air towards the end of the week. Well, let's take a look first, though, at the severe weather threat. The Storm Prediction Center, they have, you know, yesterday we talked about the slight risk of severe weather. Well, in the update that came out early this morning, about 1230 this morning, they uh, did upgrade to a moderate or an enhanced risk of severe storms in southern Nebraska, northern Kansas, right in here in the orange here. We'll see there's a new update that comes out at 8 a.m. We'll see if this changes at all. But as of right now, there's a little better chance we could see some severe weather. The entire Local 4 viewing area is highlighted in some sort of threat. But again, as you get towards the middle of the viewing area, the chance gets greater and greater. Biggest threats, big hail, two inches or larger in diameter. That's going to be the biggest threat. Maybe some severe wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. And again, during the mid to late afternoon, maybe early this evening, there is at least a chance of a few tornadoes as well here. So that's also something to keep in mind. I am likely going to be staying late after work today and continuing to work into the afternoon. And then, of course, John Walsh will be here this afternoon as well. So we may be tag teaming. We'll see how things go. But if we do need to cut in for severe weather cut-ins on television, we will do so if appropriate. You know, for the big-time hail, if there's monster hail out there, if there's any nasty wind gusts, 70-plus mile-per-hour wind gusts, or if there are tornado warnings, we'll cut into programming. So uh, keep an eye to the sky and have that Local 4 weather app handy as well here to get those notifications. Temperatures today will be a little bit cooler, but still warmer. Most of us are still in the warm sector today, so we'll get up into the 70s and low 80s. But with the clouds and the showers around, not as warm as it has been recently. And in fact, some places out west will see falling temperatures as the cold front passes through. Tonight, we'll dip back into the 40s and 50s for lows, a much cooler night ahead of us. Tomorrow's highs, not bad, upper 60s and low 70s. Yes, cooler, but that's a pretty nice fall day right there and pretty close to average for early October. And then tonight, tomorrow night into early on Thursday morning back down to the 40s and 50s for overnight lows. Thursday, you're kind of just starting to see the effects of the cold front up north with upper 50s and lower 60s here. Most of us are still going to make it mid to upper 60s and lower 70s. The cooler air is really going to come in Thursday night, Friday, and Friday night here. Now, the winds will still be pretty strong. In fact, they'll be very strong thir Thursday night into Friday, so that's going to keep the temperatures from getting super cold. We're also going to have to watch for that chance of rain Friday. Right now, forecast models are split on the rain chances Friday morning. If it rains, it's going to be just that much more miserable. Otherwise, just a windy and chilly day on Friday. And then very cold temperatures Friday night as we drop back to near, maybe below freeze a frosty Saturday morning. Still chilly Saturday morning, but the daytime hours look pretty good this weekend and early 
next week and we do start to warm up next week back above average in the upper 70s and lower 80s well that's all i have for you for today i want to thank you all for watching hope you have a good tuesday watch that severe weather threat later today and i'll see you all again on wednesday morning take care and god bless bye